From the Monster Jam Studios, I'm Scott Jordan with this edition of the Weekly Update. Valentine's Day is in the rearview mirror, but Monster Jam fans were still out in full force to show their love for the top superstars in the sport. Who made it home with some gold in their carry-on? Let's find out as we head to the home of the Dallas Cowboys. Stadium Championship Series Red took over AT&T Stadium in Arlington, and we begin with the racing finals where Todd LaDuke will meet Adam Anderson. Grave Digger got the lane choice, and right off the jump, Blue Thunder takes the lead. Grave Digger drifting out wide, and LaDuke comes off the race ram wobbly, but straightens it out, and across the finish line he would go. Todd LaDuke gets the win, his first since round six. In the Great Clip Skills Challenge, more Todd LaDuke. He's been trying to get the bicycle stoppy combo going all season, and he gets it right here. Stops on the front right BKT tire, edges the truck into a nose wheelie, and Todd LaDuke doubles down with the win in Arlington. Would he get the perfect event? In freestyle, disaster would strike for Blue Thunder. A huge LaDuke leap with the bounce right into the dirt, and the front right wheel just gets clipped. Blue Thunder would roll, and the perfect night flies out the door. Enter John Gordon in bad company, just absolutely skies the truck, perfect landing. And then watch this, the backflip goes over once, twice, three times a lady ends up on the lid but also ends up with his second freestyle win of the season however it is adam anderson winning the event championship let's go ahead and take a look at the series point standings tom mentz in max d retains the lead todd leduc blue thunder still in second but adam anderson creeping up just one point off the pace in grave digger colvinard bryce kenny rounding out the top five the Red Series now roars into Ford Field in Detroit for two events starting Saturday evening, and both will be a part of our national NBC broadcast. Arena Championship Series West was at the home of the Oklahoma City Thunder, the Paycom Center for three events, and we go right into Saturday afternoon. Brandon Vincent has been nothing short of phenomenal as of late. He would win racing, skills with his moonwalk, donuts, and freestyle. Check out the backflip landing the truck on the wheelie bar and just keeps it right there. A perfect event in Oklahoma for Brandon Vincent. Grave Digger would add a second event championship on Saturday night and then on Sunday Tristan England would try his best to keep Grave Digger away from the sweep and in the Great Clips two wheel skills challenge hits the stoppy and then the nose wheelie. Gets a moonwalk but can he flip it? Yes he can. The wheelie back down the pod and the win for Tristan England. There was a tie atop the leaderboard going into freestyle, but Brandon Vincent got it done again. He took the freestyle win and gets the clean sweep three for three in event championships in OKC. Here are the season points. Vincent now a 52 point lead over Tristan England. Bernard Light, David Olford, Travis Mallory rounding out the top five. Arena Championship Series West heads to Wichita, Kansas to one of my favorite venues, Intrust Bank Arena with three events beginning on Saturday afternoon. Arena Championship Series Central was at PNC Arena in Raleigh, North Carolina last weekend. And Kristen Anderson came into Raleigh as a series points leader and would attempt to lead the same way. She would get off to a great start on Saturday night in freestyle, hitting the eight pack and then sending Grave Digger across the pod and into a powerful donut. She also won the donut competition and here she was the event champion. On Sunday, more Kristen Anderson right in the heart of Digger country in the donut competition just lays one down. She is one of, if not the best in the business at this, just roosting the dirt at the PNC Arena. She wins the competition and then would head into freestyle. The APAC comes into play right here and Kristen Anderson making it two for two on the weekend. Just flips this one, nearly loses it, but makes the save and Grave Digger again with the freestyle win in the event championship. But Kristen Anderson keeps the series points lead, but Tony Oaks, Soldier Fortune, Black Ops hot on her heels. Elvis Linez, Otoro Loco in third, Blake Granger, John Zimmer Jr. and Zach Gardner in Wildside all within striking distance and a special happy 21st birthday to Zach Gardner who celebrated last weekend. Arena Championship Series Central will be at the All-State Arena in Rosemont, Illinois this weekend with five events starting on Friday night. We go to Worcester, Massachusetts for Arena Championship Series East. And on Friday night, Grave Diggers Weston Anderson would start the weekend with an event championship. But on Saturday, Team Throttle Monster would represent in a big way. Longtime Monster Jam fan Dalton Widener got the nod in Jurassic Attack, and he has only been driving competitively for a year. He would line up in the racing finals against Weston Anderson, and we are off and running. This was a rematch from Friday night, and Anderson hits the pot at the halfway point, and that gives Dalton Widener the opportunity to take the lead 
and he makes the most of it. So from being a fan to taking out an Anderson and winning racing, Dalton Widener gets the first competition win of his career. In Donuts, more Team Throttle Monster, Zach Jensen, the cousin of Paul Jensen, who hasn't driven in Monster Jam since 2004. He would get Rockwell Red into a groove, and round and round he went, picking up the donut win. In freestyle, Dragons' Cody Saucier would go deep on the track and line up for the APAC. Huge jump here, glides the back two BKTs on the stack, shreds the body, and Cody Saucier grabs the freestyle win in the event championship. Weston Anderson would add another trophy on Saturday evening and on Sunday afternoon he would get to the racing finals again. But Armando Castro says, no thank you, I got this one. And El Toro Loco just turns on the Jets right here, stays in the lane and absolutely torches Gravedigger en route to the racing win. In freestyle, Verona Mahan sends Whiplash soaring off the double log stack, then lines up for the backflip, whips the truck around, big bounce on the landing and she is your freestyle winner. But it's Weston Anderson taking three out of four. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a new series points leader in the East, and his name is Weston Anderson. Grave Digger in the top spot. Cody Saucier drops to second, Armando Castro third, and Brianna Mahan in fourth. The East Series now heads to Allentown, Pennsylvania at the PPL Center with five events beginning on Friday night. Stadium Championship Series Yellow is back at Angel Stadium in Anaheim last weekend in front of a sold out crowd of 44,000 plus. And Ryan Anderson is the series points leader and he was showing off the new son of a digger powered by Hoonigan. We'll have more on that later. In racing, Camden Murphy, Bakugan Dragonoid just tearing through the bracket. He would go on to beat Ryan Anderson in round two. And then in the finals, it would be up against his longtime rival, Charlie Pocket. And it would be Camden Murphy getting the racing win. In freestyle, Kayla Blood with the run of the night, maybe the run of her career. She would hit the backflip and keep it going. And then flexing for the fans in SoCal push-ups on top of the truck. And Kayla Blood with her first career stadium freestyle win. But it's Camden Murphy getting his first event championship of the season at the home of Spin Master. Not a bad way to spend a night in Anaheim. On Sunday, an epic freestyle battle would determine the event champion. And it came down to Ryan Anderson and Kayla Blood. And let's start with Son of a Digger powered by Hoonigan. Vintage Ryan Anderson here with big air into a bicycle all the way around the turn. Then more air as he launches Son of a Digger, shredding the body. And then Anderson goes for the eight pack, wouldn't land it, but the crowd ate it up and Son of a Digger was the freestyle leader. Kayla Blood with one final shot to take the win and the event championship. She goes for the backflip here and she absolutely nails it. And then sends Soldier Fortune across the berm, up on the pod. And then the amazing save does roll it on the second save attempt. And that was ultimately the difference. Son of a Digger just edging around freestyle, which does get Ryan Anderson the event championship. Let's take a look at the series point standings. Ryan Anderson still hanging on to that top spot. Now with a big lead over Tyler Menninga, Charlie Pawkin, Camden Murphy, and Barry Musawa rounding out the top five. Stadium Championship Series Yellow stays in Anaheim with two more events beginning on Saturday. Tickets are available at MonsterJam.com. My guest this week is the current Series Points leader on Stadium Championship Series Yellow. I was on hand in Anaheim on Saturday when the news broke and the truck was unveiled. It is my pleasure to welcome in from the Hoonigan Burnyard in Compton, California, the driver of Son of a Digger, now powered by Hoonigan, Ryan Anderson. Ryan, welcome to the weekly update, man. How are things in California? Man, the weather's great. The truck's awesome. I, I mean, I did tear it up pretty bad two times in a row this past weekend, but it's ready to go, and I'm, I'm in Compton with a Monster Jam truck at the Hoonigan Industries at their home base. I mean, yeah, it's awesome. It doesn't get much better than that. So I know this has been a long time coming for you. Discuss a little bit about how your relationship with Hoonigan got started. So basically 11 years ago when this thing was born, Son of a Digger was born, so was Hoonigan. And Hoonigan released a video of basically everything vehicle awesomeness. And I made the cut. My first Monster Jam backflip was in there. So I messaged Hoonigan through social media, said, hey, I love your guys' concept. I think it's awesome. I'd love to be a Hoonigan myself. They sent me a care package, and we've just been bros ever since. We've hung out literally every time I'm in California. I make sure to make a visit to Hoonigan, hang out with my guys. But now it's officially official that I'm a Hoonigan. So let's talk about you know, your truck, Son of a Digger, now powered by Hoonigan. Um, where did the conversation start? How did the, the sponsorship and partnership come to be that now Son of a Digger, after this long time, is now powered by Hoonigan? So basically, it's, it's always been me and Hoonigan's dream to get these two mixed together. And basically, the most important part about that is, you know what Hoonigan puts out. They put out some crazy content of some insane 
burnouts, just acting wild in trucks, being basically doing what I do. So to get this thing to, more involved with Hoonigan was basically the whole objective. We wanted to get, I wanted to get more burnyard stuff going on. I want to be doing more stuff outside of the element. Like this thing is meant to be in a stadium with dirt, doing jumps and flips and all kinds of crazy stuff. But it's not meant to be doing the other things that we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a lot of it too. So the burnyard video from two years ago is basically the start of this whole conversation of getting more serious. It's kind of a test. Like, can the truck do it? Can I do it? Can we make it look cool? And I'm pretty sure we did. So now it's just, what can we do to top that, make it better, get wilder, go crazier, every chance we get. So now it's it's just gonna open up a whole can of worms of cool opportunities that we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to put, put this thing on the map, doing things that it shouldn't be doing. I know uh, this has been an 11 year journey for you and I can see the emotion in you. You know, you and I go back uh, many years now, I can see the raw emotion that you were feeling in Anaheim. So what does it mean to you to finally be recognized as a Hoonigan? Man, it was it was awesome. Like honestly at the pit party announcing I was having trouble on the mic. Like I was shaking, I was so excited. I was like, finally, 11 years later, it's finally legit. Like I am a true Hoonigan. The truck is officially part of Hoonigan. Like it, and Hoonigan's officially part of Monster Jam, a part of me. So. It's uh, it was insane to me after 11 years of honestly kind of hit hit and miss whether I thought it was really going to be a thing or not to finally make it happen. And now things are getting even more serious. I mean, I got the truck here at the burn yard, obviously, and it's not going to be the last time we're going to be doing a lot of this stuff. And I, I can't wait. That's that's my thing is I'm I'm just thinking about all the stuff that's going to happen in the future. that I can't even really tell you about that is going to be the coolest thing you've ever seen a Monster Jam truck do. Ryan and Son of a Digger, powered by Hoonigan, will try to extend the series points lead when Stadium Championship Series Yellow returns to Angel Stadium this weekend. Ryan, thanks so much, man. Have a great time in Compton, California, and my best to everybody at Hoonigan Industries. Thank you, guys, man. I can't wait to see you next weekend at, at Anaheim, El Paso, wherever you're going to be at this year. Make sure to check MonsterJam.com. Find the next event coming near you, and hopefully I'm at it. I'm going to tear it up for you guys. All right, Ryan. Thanks, buddy. Let's take a look at this week's power rankings. Ryan Anderson retains the top spot after an event championship at Anaheim. But check out Brandon Vince and the West Series leader rising two spots into the top three. If Ryan or Tom Menz have an off weekend, watch for Brandon to keep climbing into that top spot. Camden Murphy is the biggest riser this week, coming off an event championship at Angel Stadium. He rises four spots to number six in Bakugan Dragonoid. And Zombies' Bari Musawa climbs two positions to round out the top ten. For the full power rankings, head on over to MonsterJam.com. If the season were to end today, five superstars would have punched their tickets to Orlando to compete at Monster Jam World Finals 21. At this point, it would be Ryan Anderson, Tom Mintz, Kristen Anderson, Brandon Vincent, and Weston Anderson qualifying. But there is still a lot of season left to determine the series champions. However, it is never too early for you to get your tickets to the biggest event of the year. Join the sports greatest for a huge weekend at Camping World Stadium, where world champions will be crowned in Monster Jam for the first time since 2019. You can register to win the VIP experience of a lifetime, which includes airfare and hotel stay, premium lower level seats, as well as tickets to the Monster Jam Awards Ceremony on Friday night, which will be the hottest ticket in town. Enter the sweepstakes and get your tickets now at MonsterJam.com. A few weeks ago, we announced that the 2022 season of Monster Jam will be broadcast as a part of NBC Sports on CNBC, along with four hours of coverage on NBC, and the countdown is on. Mark it in your calendar. Our television season debuts on Saturday, March 26th at noon Eastern with a three-hour block starting with round one in Oakland. And trust me, you do not want to miss it. Join Colt, Leslie, and I for all 26 rounds of coverage this season on NBC Sports. You can find a lot of great content on our social media platforms. So go ahead, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This weekend, I am off to the Motor City Motown USA for two NBC Sports broadcasts from Ford Field in Detroit. If you're out and about downtown on Friday night, come say hi. You'll find me at the VIP table at Eminem's Mom Spaghetti Restaurant or whatever table they allow me to eat at. I'm going to leave you now with quite possibly the greatest dance cam footage ever captured in Monster Jam's 30-year history, so enjoy it. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you right here next time on the Weekly Update. You're still on. Keep going. I can't do it. <laughs> <I'm fine>. You're off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! That was terrible. <laughs> Did we nail it or what? We nailed it.